welcome back. I'm Nate Moore. This is Moore Solutions Inc.'s video number 112, Excel video 112. We're playing with this uh, Sparkline dashboard. Let me scroll up here. Remember this? We walked through this last time with some of the components. Let's build one today. So we're going to, let's start with the easy stuff. We're on toes. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take toes and I'm going to right click and format cells. And on alignment, what I want to do is horizontally, I want to center it across my selection and click OK. So now I've got toes there. If I come over here and look at the way I have knees formatted, I can come up here and say, all right, it's that one. One, two, three up from the bottom. So we'll come over here and we'll do three up from the bottom and get toes. And then what I need to put here is 2005. And let me show you a trick. Um, and we'll do 2010. I can go back to that alignment menu and center it, or I can just take this and format painter is this button here. And what a format painter does is say, I like the way this cell's formatted. You click the paintbrush and you say, I want this cell to look just the same and it'll do it for you. And then um, you can also do a copy and we'll paste profit down there. Now we're getting a little bit closer. Let's build this spark line next. So what I want to do is let's just insert a line spark line. The location is where I want it. The data range for toes. Toes is over on my spark line data. It's on the same sheet. We're going to come arrow over here, make sure I got the right thing. Here's my collections. Right there. We'll click OK. And now what we need to do is we need to make it look like this. So what I can do is now notice it's turning into a, a hand here because I have a hyperlink. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click here and arrow over so I can get past the hyperlink. We'll see the sparkline design looks like that. Well, I can replicate that. We'll just come right here and do that one. And um, the other thing we need to do is let's do the weight of the line up to about one and a half. And I also have these markers, these little points for each year. Well, I can do that by doing markers. And let's do that one as well and turn the markers on. And that looks halfway close to what I had before. Now I've got that in place. Let's do a spark line here. So to do this spark line I'm going to insert. This is a win-loss spark line because I just want to know to go up or down. And we'll come over here and Profits by diagnosis for toes right here. It looks like I got a couple of losses. That should just, let's make sure I get three losses when I'm done here. We'll click OK. Well, I thought I'd get. Th let me make sure. Oh, I'm sorry, two losses. This was this was barely positive. Two losses. So I have two losses, and again, barely positive. Remember that a win-loss spark line is not going to show you, hey, you made a ton of money this year and hardly any this year. It's just telling you positive or negative. Last piece of the puzzle is what we're going to do is we're going to look and see where this one. It's in B17. Let's go look next to that. So if we do equals, and here we go, lab increase, decrease profits by diagnosis. And we're way down this year, so we're going to hit enter there. And then I've got a problem because I'm putting the data here, and what I really want is to conditionally format that. So we're going to do conditional formatting, and we're going to go icon sets, and we're going to do this one to match what we had there before. And oh, I need to do one more thing. Let's go conditional formatting the manage rules and edit this rule and I only want to show the icon and what I want to do is match this rule and if you want to know how to match the rule um, let's come over here and see what this rule is. Conditional formatting manage rules edit the rule positive when it's greater than or equal to zero when it's between zero and zero go that and do negative. We can do that and we're going to make it a number. Last trick. Okay, go right here, and we're going to go to conditional formatting and manage our rule and set it up the same way. Edit the rule. We're going to make this a number now. When it's greater than or equal to zero, when it's between zero and zero. Now I've got greater up arrow when it's greater than zero, flat when it's between zero and zero, down when it's less than zero. Show the icon only. And click OK. OK. Last thing I need to do, real easy. We we'll just center it. Now I have built myself the very same chart that I had up above. Stay tuned next time. I'll show you a quicker way. We'll do a copy and we'll copy mouth and paste it down here to nose, and then we'll add some hyperlinks next. Thanks for watching.